Now let's deploy this site to versal.com. So all you have to do is just go to versal.com. And in here, I would like to log in right here. Just click on this. If you don't happen to have an account, just click on sign up. In this case, I already happen to have an account in versal.com. And of course, let's continue with GitHub right here because I've already used GitHub to authenticate my account. And the reason being is that we are able to add our GitHub repos directly from our GitHub account if you have signed up using GitHub. So that's the benefit of using GitHub to register to this particular versal.com. And of course, we must be adding our project to a GitHub repository so that we are able to add it to this particular versal.com. So let's go to GitHub. And from your GitHub profile, just click on repositories and click on new. And let's create a new repository called shop. I'm just going to name it as shop right here. Click on create repository. As you see right here, I like to create a new repository on the command line. So click copy on this and go to our terminal of our code. And of course, just need to open a new terminal. Paste the command right here and hit enter. So there seems to be an issue right here which says error remote origin already exists. So we can solve this by say git remote remove origin. And this will eventually solve that particular issue. And let's paste the exact command which you just copied again and hit enter. And uh, this time if there won't be any error, it will be directly you will be able to create a new repository for you in your GitHub. Let's go to GitHub right here and hit refresh. And there you go. Right now you already happen to have your e-commerce code to the GitHub right here. And we can go back to our Versal right here. And you'll be able to find a new repository has just been added. And you can just click on import. And of course, let's have the name to be shop right here. And of course, we must be adding the environment variables direct from our project right here. It's we need to go to this particular .env file. And we just need to copy everything and we just need to be placing it right inside here. And now that I've added all the environment variables, I just can click on deploy. And let's wait for the build deployment to be finished. As you can see right here, there seems to be an error has been occurred in our deployment. And there you go, this is the error. It says failed to compile in the app slash page.tsx in, in which it says app context is not a valid export field. So let's give it a check in our page.tsx, which is inside the root file of app, which is right here. And as you can see right here, there happens to be two exports right here of inside the same file, which is not a proper way. And hence, Versal not able to accept this particular kind of exports. What we can do right here, we can separate this particular app.context to be separated in the uh, context folder right here. And let's, let's just cut this particular from this particular file and go to context and create a new file called app.context.tsx. And in here, I like to paste that particular app context right here. And also, I like to import create context. Directly from React, like this. And of course, in the page.tsx, we must be importing the app context directly from the app context page. So in this case, I like to say import app context, which is directly coming from context slash app context file click on it and there you go you're able to have this particular app context to be fixed and let's push this particular code right here i like to say git add dot and of course we need to be pushing this particular commit i can just say fixed app context issue and click on commit and this will eventually push the new commit to our git repository and if you were to go back to our versal.com and let's click on change again and this time let's click deploy again 
And you can see right here, our latest change, which was fixed app contacts issue has been applied. So as you can see, we are able to have that particular issue has been solved. And there you go. We have successfully deployed our project to vessel.com and let's click on this thumbnail. As you can see right here, this is the newly generated website right here. And of course, as you can see right here, this image is not responding as it's supposed to be. Let's give it a check in our console. And in our console right here, we are going to find a bunch of issues right here, which says specific URL is been blocked by course policy access control, which is a issue that comes from sanity. So let's go to our sanity right here. And let's go to sanity.io slash manage. Let's sign into our account, which we were using GitHub. And let's go to this particular shop right here. And in our API, we should go to course origin and we should add our newly created domain right here. This particular website link should be pasted in this particular course origin right here. So let's add this right here and allow credentials, save. And once it has been added, let's go back to our newly created page right here and let's refresh. And there you go. There, this particular image is responding as usual. And let's click on inspect right here and look for any issues. And there you go. There's no issue and will arise. And next thing is let's give it a check whether there's Stripe API able to work like so, like we are able to add our product to cart. And let's see if I were to click on pay with Stripe and let's see if there's any issue. And yeah, there might be some issue with the Stripe. Again, let's click go to network and let's click on pay with Stripe and let's go to checkout right here. And as you can see right here, we are using local host API, which is not what we are supposed to use. We should be because this particular API that we're using is this particular endpoint right here. And instead of manually adding the URL, we can just directly point to our API file instead. For example, in this case, in our card right here, we're actually using local host to redirect to that particular API. But in this case, since we are inside the project, we don't need to use this particular URL. We insert it, we can just directly navigate to that particular file in just by using slash API and slash checkout, which will directly point to this particular API route right here. And that should eventually solve the issue. And also in our route right here, we are actually using local host again. In this case, we shouldn't be using local host. Uh, we can use the newly generated website right here. Just copy the domain name and replace it with this particular local host 3000 like and there you go this is the newly created websites url domain name and let's push this particular commit right here and of course let's say paste api endpoint and let's click on commit sync changes and let's go to our workflow and let's go see right here this particular fixed API endpoint is able to detect by this particular vessel. So it is indeed building the new commit that we just pushed and we just have to wait for the build to finish. And there you go, the build has already been finished. And let's check in our browser right here and let's refresh the page. And let's add a particular product card like this. And of course, let's click pay with Stripe and let's see what happens. And there you go. It started to load and it indeed went to Stripe checkout page right here. And of course, we can also fill up all the details again. Click pay. And once the payment is successful, it just gets redirected to, to this success page. And let's click continue shopping. And we'll be back to our home page right here. And there you go, guys. We happen to have finished this particular simple yet brief e-commerce website. Together, we happen to have integrated Stripe and also a content management system called Sanity and a styling framework called Tailwind. So all of this actually indeed helpful in order to create a powerful website like this, by the way. And thank you guys for watching this particular entire tutorial till the end. And let's catch up in our next video where I'll be walking you guys through on another new tutorial. Till then, goodbye.